everybody, this is Bob from Buckeye Sports Center. Really excited today to take a look at the 2021 Bayliner VR4 Outboard. This is a pretty cool little mo little model, little boat. Um, it's an 18 foot boat with outboard power, um, but it's it's actually a, a very roomy, very deep boat. Um, you know, you can see me standing on the trailer. It's, it's a pretty tall, high freeboard boat. Has a great uh, haul to it. Uh, Bayliner has always been known for in their bow rider series to have great running, great riding boats, and there's no exception to this uh, VR4. So let's take a look at it. So this boat's powered with a Mercury 115 horsepower engine, uh, plenty of power to do, you know, pretty much whatever you need to do, you know, tubing, you know, water skiing for most people, you know, it's just plenty of power for that application. Uh, but, you know, a nice extended running surface on this boat, so the boat really rides like a much bigger boat than an 18-footer. Um, and then, of course, you have, have a nice boarding ladder four-step in the transom of the boat, but you can kind of see how it's a nice deep V, um, you know, good, uh, good solid boat for the Bayliner VR4 outboard. So as we move into the cockpit of the VR4 outboard, um, again, space is the name of the game here with, uh, you know, this is an 18 foot boat, but to be honest, this cockpit feels more like a 20 foot boat. You know, just a ton of space, a ton of open space here. Um, you know, you can sit in multiple different areas, configurations. Um, as we move up to the helm area, um, you know, nice comfortable driver's seat with a bolster on it. You know, so you can see from multiple different angles, full instrumentation with stereo, adjustable, driver's seat, all your instrumentation, fuel, trim, tack, everything like that. And again, a conveniently located um, uh, shifter um, to you know, throttle. It's not an awkward position or I'm hitting my arm on the side of the boat or anything like that. It's real comfortable to use. And then even for a taller guy like me, if I, if I move down, a nice footwell. Um, so you know, it gives a bigger guy like me a lot of space. So you know, good access to the um, really, really just a comfortable feeling cockpit. Okay, up to the bow area, the VR4 outboard. Again, just a real roomy bow. You know, I'm a bigger guy, six foot two. I can I pretty much, I really can put my, you know, my full body out. It's a good, comfortable position. Grab handle right here so you can feel comfortable. But if you've got little kids or something like that sitting up here, you know, you always worry about, you know, the boat not feeling deep enough, but, you know, nice high side to it. You know, a lot of times on a smaller boat, you're not going to see that. So a real comfortable feeling boat. Um, and in addition, all these seats have storage underneath all of them. So a good good amount of storage in this boat um, for an 18 footer, but you know, good finished off compartments um, underneath all the seats. So versatile seating, again, is the name of the game on this VR4 outboard. You can configure the seating in a couple different ways. You know, if you've got a tuber back there or a skier, you can sit here facing backwards, a nice comfortable position, comfortable seat to face backwards. If you want a more traditional, kind of a cap to co-captain, so to speak, you can actually move this, you know, seat base or back up forward a little bit and have a more traditional kind of co-captain regular seat right here. Um, or you can even still sit facing backwards right here, particularly if somebody smaller, a kid or something can sit facing backwards. Even I'm not too bad position being a taller guy sitting back facing here, still allowing somebody to sit in front of me. So cool multiple versatile seat configuration on the VR4 outboard. Really usable transom on this VR4 outboard. A lot of times when you have an outboard motor, you kind of lose the you know, swim platform area and they don't really design it real well. But Bayliner did a really good job with this one. You know, you have two really large sides, non-skid everywhere, including the step up into the cockpit. You've got a non-skid area here too. So there's pretty much non-skid everywhere. Um, but you, it's, you know, again, comfortable, even, even somebody like myself, if I'm gonna sit back here, watch everybody kind of jumping in and out of the water, there's kind of a seat you can sit on back here. You've got a skeeped pole or tubing pole elevated, you know, to you know, increase your water sports ability with the outboard motor, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, a nice stainless steel grab handle um, to get it up in and, out, in and out of the boat easier. So again, a real, real convenient, easy to use, versatile and large, you know, swim platform area for an 18 foot outboard. So another kind of underrated thing about this VR4 outboard is just the massive amount of storage in the boat. A lot of times you get into an 18 foot boat and you almost have no storage in it. You know, not even enough to get all the life jackets you need for people to have safety equipment. But we open up the uh, hatch here and you've got a very, very large area to put, you know, your covers or your life jackets or, you know, pretty much you even could get probably a small tube or something in there. You know, just a great, you know, really well finished off space as well. It's not a you know, real rough space. Obviously you've got storage on either side in the back. Um, again, just, you know, enough storage for your lights and different things like that. As we move up 
forward. We've got a nice roomy and deep ski locker with the boat being very deep. Um, you've got a nice finished off real nice with a nice little rubber gasket protecting water from getting in there with the drain. Uh, but a good uh, you know ski locker for skis or even a wakeboard. And then this port side console storage is pretty cool too. Just a you know good spot for backpacks or other things as people come in and, in and off the boat. Um, you can get to easily. You can even maybe even throw a cooler in there. Uh, but again, just a ton of storage in addition to what you have in the bow. Thanks again for checking out the Bayliner 2021 VR4 outboard with us at Buckeye Sports Center. For more information, visit our website, buckeyesportscenter.com. Check out our inventory and more videos. Thanks again for watching.